everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. Today what I'm going to share with you is how I make a chocolate sour cream bun cake. Mmm, how delicious does that sound? Of course, I'm making all these delicious dessert recipes because of the upcoming Valentine's Day holiday. I hope that this pound cake is something that you're going to enjoy. If you are enjoying watching the content, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. That really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. I sure hope you're enjoying the content and that you consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video. And if you're a regular here, thanks for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. All right, we're gonna start this recipe by first sifting our flour, our cocoa powder. Let's go ahead and just get started here. Okay, we have our flour our cocoa powder, baking soda, and baking powder. Okay, we're gonna sift this. All right, so now we have our sifted ingredients here. We're just gonna give them a good mix. Okay, on our stand mixer, we're gonna add in our butter and our sugar, and we're gonna beat that until very fluffy. Right, then we're just gonna add our sugar and give this a good mix. Okay, we are going to add in the vanilla and we're gonna add in the eggs one at a time, waiting till they're incorporated before we add the next one. All right, now we're gonna add in our sour cream. And the rest of the recipe is gonna get folded in by hand so that we do not overbeat it. Here we go. Okay, that's it. All right, I'm just gonna take this off with a stand mixer and clean off the beater. Okay, now we're just gonna give this a mix, make sure everything is in there right. And now we're gonna incorporate our flour. And we're just gonna fold it in. All right, we just continue to fold this in. And the last thing that we're gonna add is the boiling water. It gets quite thick right now. And then we add the boiling water to melt all that cocoa powder. See how you still have some at the bottom? All right, the last thing we're gonna add is the hot boiling water. Just be real careful not to splash yourself when you first start this, because remember the mix is firm. So just go slow, don't burn yourself. Put a little bit at a time, break it up. Okay. When you get to this consistency, it's a little runny now, we're done. We're gonna get our bunt pan All ready. Right, here I have my regular bunt pan. We're gonna spray it real well with some cooking spray. And we're warming up our oven to 325 degrees. And this is gonna cook for about an hour, but you need to start checking it at about 45 to 50 minutes, and that'll much gauge you how much longer you have. All right, there we are. It smells good already. You smell that chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in, and I will let y'all know how long it took for it to bake. So I will be right back. Okay hey guys, this is out of the oven. What I'm gonna do, it's already been sitting here for about five minutes. I am gonna flip it over and let it cool on this rack and then we will put the ganache on there. And hopefully it comes out, I didn't leave it too long. Whoa, there we go. You can't let it sit too long because as you can see, it was already starting to stick. Don't flip it right out of the oven, but about five minutes afterwards, flip it. Okay, we're gonna let this sit here and cool completely and we will get on to the ganache. Look at how cute that is. 
Okay, now for the ganache, our warm up our heavy cream. We're gonna warm that up. We don't want it to boil, just warm it up. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of corn syrup and that's what gives your ganache the shine. That's what we want. We're gonna add some vanilla, but we're gonna add that last. Okay, now I start to see the bubbles. I'm gonna add in my, I like to mix my chocolates. I have some dark chocolate and some milk chocolate. I'm gonna turn this down. Let it sit for just a second. And then you start stirring it. Okay, now we're gonna add in our vanilla. And that's it, it's done. Okay, we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, wait for the cake to cool. And then we will top our delicious bun cake with this ganache, delicious. I am going to leave my bun cake on this rack, on this cookie sheet, because whatever ganache falls out, I'm able to gather it at the bottom and reuse it. So I have my ganache and I just take a little whisk because it tends to sit up, it wants to sit up. So you just wanna mix it back up and you'll get that pretty shine. Okay, I'm going to start putting it on there. Put as much or as little as you want. And I'll use a spoon. Okay, there we go with the chocolate. Doesn't that look delicious? Now to top it off, I'm going to use some chocolate sprinkles. You can do whatever sprinkles you like. It doesn't have to be chocolate. I just did a chocolate because of course Valentine's is all about the chocolate. Okay, and then I have some little uh, hearts that I have here. You can put some of those since it's Valentine's. I'm gonna use red. Look at that, how cute. Okay, I think that should be enough. And look at that, how cute. See how simple that was to make? Now I'm gonna transfer it over to a cake board and I will be back and we will let this set up and then we will cut it and give it a taste. There she is in all her glory. Look at how delicious that looks. And how much you can spruce it up with just a few sprinkles and you didn't have to put the heart, you can just put the chocolate sprinkles or red sprinkles, whatever your choice, whatever you like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so we can see the inside. All right, look at that, how delicious. Real, real spongy-like. Okay, let's give this a taste. All right, everybody. Finally, we get to taste that chocolate sour cream bun cake. I know this cake is delicious and I really hope you give it a try. And I cannot wait to taste it. It looks scrumptious, nice and creamy. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. So, so good. I'm going to give this another bite. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this cake is so good. So moist, fudgy. The chocolate, you can taste it. It's not super sweet, believe it or not, it's not. Very good, and that ganache just puts the cherry on the cake. This cake is just so delicious. I know the family would enjoy it. So I hope that you enjoyed the content today, guys. If you did, please thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have any questions about the recipe, please leave it in the description box below. And if you have anything that you would like for me to try on this channel, leave it in the comments below and I will take a look at it and hopefully get to that recipe. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.